welcome back. We're going to get stuck into the fade shot now. So we're going to really reverse to a degree what we were talking about with the draw. So if we want to fade the ball from left to right as right-handed players, we're going to need to aim our, specifically aim our shoulders to the left, but good idea to get our feet, hips and shoulders all aiming to the left. Again, how much you want to fade it is going to be dependent on how much aim you, how much to the left you aim. Okay, so again, if I'm looking for about a five to seven yard fade, I'm going to aim about five to ten yards left. So I've got everything aiming left now, parallel, feet, hips, shoulders, we're all aiming left at the target. Now, I'd like to move the ball position this time about a ball forward, a ball nearer to the target than normal, okay? And that's going to encourage my swing path to start going a little bit left, okay? And we want it to go left because we want the swing path to be going left of where the face is pointing to get that slice spin or fade spin that we're looking for. So part number one, I gave, remember at the beginning of part one there in the video one, I talked about how the face and path need to be opposing each other. We need the face to be pointing in a different direction to the path of the club to get spin on the ball. So. This time we want the swing path to be a bit left and we want the face to be a bit open. Okay, so moving that ball position slightly forward. Normally with a six iron I would have the ball position just to the left of my sternum. I'm now going to just shift my feet an inch, an inch or two to my right away from the target. That's going to move that ball up an inch or two. And again, you've got to play around with this. There's trying to move an exact inch nobody's that accurate okay so you've got to play around with this a little bit but certainly we're going to shuffle what feels to us like an inch or two to the right okay or away from the target that's moving the ball forward and that's making the swing path start to go a little bit more to the left which is what we want now same as with the draw what we can do when we've done that is we can experiment with the club face a little bit we can just fractionally open that face and it needs to only be a fraction so we're going to swivel the toe of the club away from the target there. That's going to open the face. We've got the ball forward and then we're going to make our normal swing. And again, we don't need to try and manipulate the release through the ball. We're going to make a normal swing through the ball. And the fact that that path is now going left with an open face, we should start to see a little bit of curvature. Now again, how much it's curving, you've got to observe and then you've got to play around with that club face, that address until you start getting the curvature that's desired for you, okay? And the same thing with the draw, if, you, if you're finding that inconsistent, I would then go back to a square club face to our new target, which is left of the target now, isn't it? We're aiming about 10 yards left now, so we can get that leading edge perpendicular to the 10 yard left target, square, okay? And then we can start to experiment with some counter rotation of the forearms through the ball. So in other words, the lead elbow, you can work on feeling that lead elbow pointing to the sky a little bit through the ball, and that's gonna open that club face through impact, okay? So that's the sensation. Lead elbow pointing a little bit up to the sky, okay? You can think about your knuckles of the lead hand turning to the sky. Think of the knuckles turning up to the sky, that's going to open that club face a little bit through the ball and it's going to give us the desired left to right curvature and again you've got to experiment with that, okay? How much do you need to feel? Overdo it, try and hit a massive slice, then try and bring it back to a straighter feel and find the middle ground. Educate those hands to get the desired shape. So you've got to practice both methods. Some people prefer setting the club face at address and then having a very neutral release. That works great for them. Other people like to feel it more with the hands through the ball. It's very preferential. I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna go from the fade first with the six iron to the draw. Hopefully you're gonna see the, the difference in the look of the follow throughs, okay? When I play the fade shot, you're gonna see a much higher left elbow. It's gonna appear that the club face and, the, and my, the club shaft may not finish around my neck as much because I'm really resisting the face closing. So I'm holding it open. And conversely with the draw, you're gonna see a very full release. The club's gonna definitely extend all the way around my neck. You're gonna see the difference in those two releases. So I prefer the manipulation method to shape the ball. 
So this is the one I'm going to demonstrate now. I'm going to show you how to manipulate the face in both directions and you'll see the difference in the follow through. So here we go, fade number one. Nice left to right curvature on that one. Okay, and now we're going to go for the draw. Those balls almost met in the middle, so one was coming in this way, the other one was coming in that way. I changed my aiming on both shots, the draw I aimed to the right. I like to feel the club face closing through impact. I also moved the ball back slightly in my stance. The fade I aimed to the left, I moved the ball forward slightly in my stance and I tried to feel that lead elbow working a little bit more up to the sky through impact. You can move this ball in both directions quite easily if you apply these simple fundamentals. Hope you enjoyed my video. As always, please subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying them. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And head over to my website, www.vanphillips.co.uk. There's over 60 videos there on everything from the all important psychology right through to some great putting tips. You'll enjoy it a hell of a lot.